hard and potentially treacherous through the middle and maybe Reading will be hoping that this could wrong foot a high-flying Arsenal side at any rate the Reading team has got Gary Westwood in goal a deal with Queen's Park Rangers with Paul Barron has not progressed the back four is inspired by the recent return of skipper Martin Hicks who fractured a jaw in three places the midfield will depend much on the industry and experience of Les Taylor who was a cup final man with Watford and then up front, the skill and battling qualities of Kevin Bremner and Trevor Senior, top scorer and reported target of a number of top clubs. Meanwhile, Arsenal there unchanged, John Lukic in goal, a back four that's among the meanest in the country where young Tony Adams is receiving so much excellent critical acclaim. In midfield, the chance once more to assess the rehabilitation of Steve Williams and the growing class of young David Rowcastle. And then up front, the six foot four Irishman Niall Quinn and Charlie Nicholas. And certainly for senior, top scorer with 14 this season, a real shop window opportunity for him. He's a great finisher. And now up against Tony Adams, the 20 year old, and with David O'Leary forming one of the best central defences in the whole league. The referee is Jim Borrett of Norfolk. It's Reading who get this cup tie underway in difficult circumstances here in the blue and white strip with Arsenal in their traditional red and white. Arsenal unbeaten in their last 19 with a real winning habit, which is something Reading themselves know all about. Remember, they had 13 straight wins last season, a football league record, but at the moment lying 18th in the second division. They've been really hard hit by injuries. They've got their side together again a little bit now and are hoping for the best on this difficult surface. This is Gary Westwood, their goalkeeper. Very fast Hicks and Anderson. Wood beaten in the air by Quinn. Little Steve Richardson getting it away. O'Leary's header. This is Terry Herlock. Williams versus Sanson, and he's got past the England fullback. Seniors coming in on the far post, and uh, Reading were under no doubts at all that they wanted to get the ball high towards Trevor Senior. There might well have been a foul on the keeper. And Williams did well to get past Kenny Sanson here, and hoisted in a really good long cross to the far post. Foul apparently on the keeper. Good turn there by Quinn. And his turn trying to get Rowcastle away, and that's a dangerous game for keepers to play. I think Westwood really had to do it then, but on this sort of pitch, it's pretty unpredictable. Well, if you think of the phrase, a real cup tie competitor, it applies every inch of the way to this young man. O'Leary, though, with the free kick for the infringement by Bremner. Awesome throw. Castle making a bit of room for himself. There was no time there for Davis, and here's Herlock. A little touch now for Bremner. That might fall for Bevan, it does. Williams. Change of direction for Bailey. And a nice little ball played again by Herlock and then by Bevan. And here's Jerry Williams again testing this Arsenal defence, playing it wide, but Bailey had straight offside played some uh, nice thoughtful football on a difficult pitch coming forward then Woods header Williams planting it forward again Quinn getting in behind the Reading defence Some 
good play there by Arsenal. Rowcastle now with a chance to cross it in. And a mishit shot there by Martin Hayes. And he's their top scorer with 14, but he had a splendid opportunity there. Hayes. Arsenal number 11 but I'm a long way from that scene I must say certainly a moment ago it was a splendid opportunity for Hayes after a good little cross by Rowcastle so Arsenal's corner Arsenal fans behind that goal as Steve Williams now lines it up Adams in there Quinn in there when you think of it O'Leary around the place there are plenty of six footers around Clear. Sanson putting it forward again to Quinn. Miss hits and Wood turning it away for another corner. That looked to be falling, but for Quinn's intervention to be falling for Charlie Nicholas. So Steve Williams again. Keeper's ball, it has to be. And it's in there. And it's Charlie Nicholas. From the corner to the delight of the Arsenal fans, Charlie Nicholas, who in this corresponding uh, round last season of Grimsby on a similar frozen pitch, got a hat trick. Hooks in a beautiful goal there for Arsenal. 1 0. With 20 minutes gone. Just the start Arsenal required to calm any fears they might have. And their thoughts go back and their fans too over the last few seasons. And what happened at York, what happened against Walsall in a cup competition, what did happen at Reading as well. Well, Charlie has helped to dissipate some of those fears. start to me it's real Scottish weather so maybe Charlie Nicholas feels very much at home here at Elm Park this afternoon with these freezing conditions and not turning it on well for Williams and this is where a lot of the problems for Arsenal have come from this afternoon senior Certainly something worth seeing again. Certainly Williams has caused one or two problems to Kenny Sanson and to the Arsenal defence on that side of the field. A perfect cross in, flicked up in the air, and there's Senior in off the post and in for the equaliser. So suddenly it's a different picture. So, a matter of two minutes later, Trevor Senior gets his 15th of the season. And he'd scored only one in the last 11 games. Well, he's a name that's been penciled in by a number of first division managers, and he knows that what he does against Arsenal this afternoon could bear a great, have a great bearing on his whole career. Well, he's shown what he can do. He really is as... Ian Branford, the Reading manager, says he's probably the best finisher that he's ever worked with. And here it is again towards Senior. There's his header once more, putting Arsenal under more pressure, and Lukic is up. Now Sanson. Touched on by Quinn. And played back by Wood. <laughs> Good 
Great kick to Arsenal. Sansa will take it. Hicks there with the header. O'Leary. Nicholas. Touch there towards Viv Anderson. Will he get there first? Good keeping by Westwood. Hicks who wins it in the air. Bevan's clearance. Adams. Quinn. Now can Rowcastle make something of this? Bailey was in there. Penalty given. That looked a bit tough to me. But the referee, I have to say, was right there and his finger went straight to the spot. And a penalty it must have been. The referee, 100% right. Never a question about it. And the referee was right on the spot. And if I had any doubts, I was wrong. And the referee, 100% right. And now Martin Hayes, who has scored with seven penalties this season of his 14 games, has not taken one that's more important than this. It's 2-1. taken by the 20 year old and that was quite a test for him so delight again for the Arsenal fans Westwood went the right way but didn't get a firm footing and Hayes has made it 2-1 throw Good turn there by Taylor Richardson Evan available in a lively first half for him and a good cross in there and unfortunately for rating it caught Jerry Williams a little bit off balance he fired in a totally unexpected cross there did Bevan some good work in the first place by Les Taylor. And then Richardson plays his little part with the ball to Bevan, who's really made him safe available for just about everything this afternoon. And then having got to the byline, whips in a really low, hard cross, and Williams just a little bit off balance. Sanson. The last minute of the first half now. Flag up on the far side this time, a free kick for Reading. safety of the Reading crowd providing the home side with a corner right on half time and can Reading right on half time bring this back to 2-2 Martin Hicks again at the near post Trevor Senior is swarming in that penalty area again and it's Senior and it's kicked off the line that time by the big forward Niall Quinn now Arsenal breaking out Herlock Rowcastle Nicholas and was lucky the bounce went his way 
Hayes' header is held at the second attempt by Westwood. Certainly was touch and go at the other end, though, and it was uh, a header by Trevor Senior, which is deflected on the way, and uh, it was kicked off the line by Quinn. Half-time whistle. And a really entertaining cup tie here with a few frights for Arsenal, even though they went ahead with Charlie Nicholas after 20 minutes. And then Trevor Senior has had this amazing scoring record, 113 goals in 163 games, a great strike record. Hit a fine header to make it 1-1. Uh, and then the penalty from Martin Hayes after Rowcastle was brought down by Bailey, giving the first division leaders a 2-1 advantage at half-time. So Arsenal get the second half underway. They now attack the goal to our left. Comforted by the knowledge that their defence has leaked only 15 goals all season. And they're leading here 2-1 in this potentially difficult cup tie against second division Reading. Also with the knowledge that they've had a senior header kicked off the line just before half-time. Which could so easily have brought it back to 2-2 and that will encourage Reading certainly were full of commitment in that first half as you might expect in a cup tie and if anything on the evidence of the first 45 minutes a little unlucky to be behind Hicks going forward for this throw from Richardson and just failed to get the header Williams miss kick getting it away Taylor playing it wide and Jerry Williams getting on this one, he's not offside and he's played too firmly, it just needed a little dink to cross in there but it was maybe the first wrong move that Jerry Williams has made all afternoon but certainly Arsenal leaving that side of their defence dreadfully exposed and uh, Williams might have got in there There. Good header there by Williams. Played on this time, and a good pass there by Trevor Senior. Here's Jerry Williams. It calls for a good cross. He's got it! And now Taylor, just wide of the goal, but coming off a defender, and a really effective break there again by Reading, and a warning to Arsenal that this game is anything but over yet. Started, in fact, with a fine ball by Senior, and a lovely cross in again. And here comes the corner. Jerry Williams with it. Taylor. Good ball played wide again. There's time now for Williams to measure up across. Taylor again keeping the pressure on. Bremner trying to get a turn in. And Arsenal under the cosh there for a moment or two. Bailey. Hayes did well there. And it's there by Charlie Nicholas. A terrible mistake in the Reading defence. They all waited for each other to react as the ball came in at the far post. And one man who didn't wait was Charlie Nicholas to score his second and Arsenal's third. Well, that was an absolute aberration there in the Reading defence. And... Well, as they say so frequently, for mistakes like that, when you're playing first division opposition, you get punished for them. I think you get punished for this sort of mistake, mind you, in just about every decision, every division. They waited and allowed it to go all the way through to Nicholas. So Reading one, Arsenal three, Charlie Nicholas in the 52nd minute, his second goal of the game. Brantford, rather thoughtful there. Second from the left on the bench as we look at him. And his side really have been a credit to him and his coaching staff today, even though they're 3-1 down. Rowcastle. Quinn. And Hicks asserting himself. Not only that... 
finds Jerry Williams. He's had a storming game today. And what a lovely cross coming in again by him. Bremner trying to hook it back in. Well, no doubt in my mind who the man of the match for Reading is. Uh, certainly, Les Taylor's done a lot of work in the midfield, but Jerry Williams. Him, he's again outwitted Kenny Sanson. Not only that, it's a lovely cross coming in there. to Reading and certainly they've got nothing to be ashamed about in their performance this afternoon it's been full of hustle and bustle with some moments of good skill and certainly one or two moments that threatened to unhinge and upset Arsenal and as we come to the last minutes now here's Les Taylor with a free kick for them floated again in there towards Hicks and Senior but the big men from Highbury get the header away again Taylor planting it in once more O'Leary and Senior just wide again. Showing his ability to snap up all sorts of half opportunities. And he was really annoyed with himself after the back header by O'Leary fell invitingly for him. He caught it on the volley. is on and Bevan's making that chase gets there first as well Stuart Bevan and tried to turn David O'Leary and Adams and just wasn't on but it was the long ball that almost turned out to be very effective and he's certainly done plenty of chasing as the final whistle goes as we see that again and Adams gets it back real good hustling performance by Reading but the superior quality of Arsenal told in the end and the finishing of Charlie Nicholas he got a hat-trick in this corresponding third round last season against Grimsby he got two here today he'd only got three in the uh, rest of this season but the cup ties have come around and Charlie Nicholas and Arsenal have started to blossom a final score then at Elm Park it's Reading one Arsenal three